mean, I can only review what I've got. I would have, I wouldn't have, obviously would have taken it back and asked for my money back if I wasn't going to do a review, but. Are you ready to party? Cool. Oh god. <coughs> Should have cleared my throat before starting. G'day guys, Rolf is here. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I've just been to Banjo's to get the exciting new nacho pie. I'm not very excited anymore. Um, it's supposed to be like a chili con carne sort of mince in a pie with some chips on top. Sour cream and guacamole. $8.95. So, you know, it's pretty expensive for a pie, but pies are pretty expensive. This is what I got. So no sour cream, no guacamole. I did ask the girl behind the counter, but I thought I'd check it before I leave because I've sort of learned that when you buy stuff to check before you leave. I'd ask the girl behind the counter if there was any, why, why was there no guacamole or sour cream? And I was told that there wasn't any. So I wasn't told this before I bought it or when I asked her to buy it. Um, I'm down here at the lovely Browns River at Kingston. Um, it's a bit busier around here than I thought it would be. It's a Friday afternoon. It's like a quite residential area, but there's quite a few cars going past. But anyway, so yeah, so no guacamole, no sour cream. So, I mean, I can only review what I've got. I would have, I wouldn't have, obviously would have taken it back and asked for money back if I wasn't going to do a review. But the life of a food reviewer is you just get what you're given and you got to review what you're given. So there we go. So I get a corn chip. I mean, smells good. It smells like a little like a burrito type thing. Corn chips are toasty. Cheese, a little splatter of salsa on there, so nothing too exciting there. Cheers, give it a taste. Oh, got a bit of... bit of fuzziness from the sky. That wasn't from someone at the sky. At the um, I was gonna say at school, <laughs> at the banjos, I got it from. Ooh. So that's inside the pie. It's got like beans and like a chili corn, corn type stuff. Nice cheesy bit of pie. Gaily, R factor score, taste. The mince is okay, it's not very not very flavorful. Beans are nice, nice bit of bean in there, bit of tomato in there, but yeah, it's not very not much flavour. I'll try it with a chip. Alright. Time to score up, not very excited because it's pretty fucking bland. No sour cream, no guacamole. Um, we'll go with value, probably a two. <laughs> two out of 10. Though my, my sour cream and my guacamole might have been better, but yeah, $9 for a pie, but won't even, even get anywhere near to filling me up. So two out of 10 for value. Flavour, 5 out of 10. I mean, it's alright. It's not very exciting, very bland. But it's not like gross or anything. So that's 7 out of 20. R Factor. It's pretty good. Like, I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10 for R Factor because it isn't. I don't know if birds are agreeing or it's just agreeing with my scores there. I'll give it a um, 8 out of 10 for R Factor for a nacho pie. I mean, it's a good idea. The only thing is, it's, a pie is like supposed to be all contained. Whereas this is a bit finicky and you can't really hit one handed or whatever. But yeah, 8 out of 10, so pretty boring score really for a pretty boring pie. Um, pretty average customer service. You can't deliver what's on the picture. I mean, I understand that. Things happen. But at least tell your customer before you um, they order it. So yeah. That's it. <laughs> Got very boring pie. That's about it. Yeah, banjos, thumbs down. I think the only one they've already won with is the old uh, cheeseburger pie. The rest of the pies have been pretty average. 
I mean, the pizza pie I do with Daz is pretty average. But yeah, that's it, you know. Thanks for liking the video, subscribing, that sort of stuff. Ticklers, the patrons, the YouTube members. I'm always eat the rest of this. And then I'll see you guys next time. Bye.